guys, it's Rach. So a few videos back I asked you guys to let me know what videos you would like to see from me and one of the first comments I got was a updated what's in my purse or what's in my bag video. My bag is currently a mess. I haven't cleaned it out for probably a week and a half to two weeks. I'm currently filming this on a Saturday. I have no idea what day this video will go up, but it is a Saturday, so I have at least a week, if not a week and a half's worth of lady junk running around in this bag. I call it lady junk because guys seem to manage to survive without carrying around all this crap. Starting off with my bag, it's a medium to large size bag. This is from Strand Bags. It has just over the shoulder straps, although you can sort of hold it on your wrist if you want to. I really like the colour. It did come in a hot pink and I really would have loved to have got it in hot pink but the tan colour was a little bit more practical. It has silver hardware and the brand of the bag is Laura Jones. I don't really know that brand. I believe it was $49.95 so not really expensive given the price of handbags here in Australia but overall a nice bag and I'm so far happy with it. It really has only one main pocket in the center with a couple of little um, little pockets on the inside so I'm just going to dig into the mess that is in this bag and show you guys um, what's in my bag. The first thing that I'm going to pull out here is probably one of the biggest. It is my iPad. I currently have it in this really adorable um, crochet owl cover which is from typo pull it out like this and there we have my ipad so that usually is in my bag that's not an extra so that will go back in my handbag the next thing that i've pulled out here which are a little bit of a jumbled mess are my headphones i always carry headphones because i catch the train to and from work and i always listen to music on my iphone one thing that is usually in my bag but is currently out at the moment because i was just looking at it then recently so i have headphones next thing i have here is a mcdonald's receipt i have a ten dollar note just floating around in my bag I have a pen from TP3, which is a education provider kind of thing. I have the first of probably what is going to be many, many lip products. I have the Maybelline Color Whisper in Petal Rebel, which I don't need to carry around a thousand lip products, so that will stay out of my bag and I'll put it away. I also have a Color Boost glossy finish lipstick from Bourjois and this is in Red Sunrise. I only picked these up just this week so um, that's why they're floating around in my bag. I really really am liking these. Some more lip products. These are actually sitting inside the little pocket on the inside here that is for your mobile phone. Of course I didn't store my mobile phone in there. I have random other stuff. That shows you guys how unorganized I am at the moment. I have the Nivea Lip Butter in Vanilla and Macadamia. I love this. I have a hair tie. I have the uh, a lipstick from, what's this called? Makeup Store. This is Redwood. It's a cream neutral color. I absolutely love this. I have a Chlorine a mini dry shampoo travel size. I always like to have dry shampoo in my bag if I have to go out somewhere after work. My hair will get oily during the day so I like to have that to touch up. I have a BodyWise Digestive Balance Bar. This is the Apple Delight flavor. My favorite of these and I usually have some kind of bar in my bag. This I took to work to have for lunch with well, with other stuff for my lunch and I just never got around to eating it. I'm trying to keep this moving along as quickly as I can. I have a statement here from a bank account that I no longer use um, and it has my old address on it so I need to get that changed which is why it's in my bag but it looks like something has spilt on it because it has like an orange juice stain so well done Rachel. The next thing I have some more paper. This is a volunteer information sheet. I recently volunteered at Ronald, Ronald, Ronald McDonald House at Randwick. So that's just directions and what I needed to take and stuff like that. I have my sunglasses. These are the Ray-Ban Wayfarers. I got these at Christmas time. If you watched my vlogmas videos or my what I got for Christmas video you probably saw these. I love them. They're my favorite sunglasses and I wear them all the time. I have some gum here. The extra Wrigley's um, strawberry flavor gum. I like strawberry flavor gum. I also have an empty gum wrapper. I have my car keys here which has my car keys and my house key and I have a little um, what's this breast cancer support 
keyring and then my Glitzy Glam R keyring, which I do actually really, really like now that I use it more. I think that it's great and it makes my keys so much easier to find in this bottomless pit of a bag. We have an umbrella and the little case thing that should have been on it. It's black and white polka dots, which I really, really like. And um, it's just a small one. I think this was from Target. My mum got it for me when she bought myself and my sister and her one. But I just think it's cute, it fits in my bag and I always need an umbrella because sometimes I will leave home and it won't be rainy at all and then I'll get to work and it will be rainy because I work so far away from where I live. So always carry around an umbrella. Getting to the bottom of one side anyway, I have the Taylor Swift Enchanted Wonderstruck perfume. Again, you might have saw this at Christmas time. I really, really like this for packaging because you just twist it and you open it up. It's perfect for just chucking my handbag. So I always carry around this perfume. I also have a Revlon, uh, what's this, Color Burst Lip Gloss in Orchid. So many lip products. How many is that now? Like four already. And I think I've got tons more in here. I also have a foundation stick from Napoleon Purtis. I don't use this for my normal makeup, but I like carrying this around because I can kind of use it as a concealer slash foundation if I ever need to uh, touch up my makeup. It's just easy and convenient and compact to carry around. It's probably getting a bit on the old side, but, but it seems to be okay. I have a $1 coin. I have yet another receipt. This one is from Caltex for petrol. <laughs> this thing is kind of embarrassing, but I'm seriously pulling it out of my handbag. It's a jar of peanut butter. You're probably wondering, Rachel, why are you carrying around a jar of peanut butter? Well, Thursday night, my mum went grocery shopping. I texted her to say that we've run out of peanut butter and she didn't get my text message until she got home. So yesterday, which was Friday, um, we had a supermarket down the bottom of my work. So I just quickly grabbed a, what's this called? A jar of peanut butter, which obviously hasn't been taken out of my bag. But that won't be going back in. I don't feel the need to carry around peanut butter with me. I'm not some kind of peanut butter addict. It just ends up in my bag so I only bought one product so I thought I'll save the environment and not get a plastic bag and of course now I look like an idiot because I did a what's in my bag video and pulled out peanut butter. But anyway we're going to move on. I have a Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara. As you can see I have no makeup bag. That's how unorganized I am. It's because I usually don't carry around that much makeup. I usually just put in the products that I'm using for the day. I'm not big on makeup touch-ups but I happen to just have accumulated a lot over the week. The next thing I have here is an Eco Tools uh, travel powder brush. This does live in my bag, so if I need to touch up my powder, I can using this. The next thing I have here is a Tic Tacs case full of bobby pins, which is how I like to store my bobby pins because I always run out of bobby pins or lose bobby pins, so that lives in my bag. I also have a Maybelline Fit Me powder. This also lives in my bag. I use the Eco Tools uh, powder brush with this. I also use this for the mirror, which is inside there. Still, like, tons of more stuff. This is like Mary Poppins bag. I have another of the Color Boost by Bourjois Glossy Finish Lipsticks. This one is in Fuchsia Libre. Love, love, love those. I have a Rimmel Stay Glossy Lip Gloss in the shade Stay My Rose. I also have a Models Prefer Infinite Color Lip Liner in Always Nude in my bag. What are we up to now for, was that like seven lip products, maybe more? I have some pocket tissues. I'm trying to use these up. I prefer, I'm kind of a tissue snob and prefer to use Kleenex tissues, I know. Um, but my mum had bought these and now these just kind of live in the bottom of my bag in case I have a desperate need for some kind of tissue um, until I can use them up. There's so much stuff that I'm just dropping it everywhere. I have yet another lip product. This is the MAC Lip Glass in Viva Glam Nikki... Is it 1 or Nikki 2? I think it might just be Nikki 1. Either way, it's the peachy pink one. I actually really like this colour and I've worn it at one point this week, which is why it ended up in my handbag. I have a Bath & Body Works Island Nectar pocket back, which my friend Lisa from the US sent to me at the end of last year. I love the smell of this and it's handy given that I travel on trains and things like that to um, sterilize my hands when I need to. I have some black fingerless gloves which I think were originally from Sports Girl or Forever New, I can't quite remember. Um, it's really really cold at the moment when I catch the train in the morning so I wear gloves but I always wear the um, 
sort of the open fingered ones because I am using my iPhone and I just hate having to take my gloves on and off to use it so I always wear the fingerless ones. Almost done with the big main pocket here. I have yet another, um, what's it called, gum wrapper and then finally I have my wallet. This is from Forever New. I got it quite a while ago now. I have a whole heap of stuff in here. Usually not a lot of cash, mainly just my credit card, well not my credit cards, my debit cards, my Amex card, and then a whole heap of loyalty program cards. So that's my wallet. I like it because it's still small so I can chuck it into a smaller handbag when I want to, which I usually do on the weekends and it still fits, but it also holds a fair amount of stuff too. So I really like that and I love the neon and the nude mixed together. So that's the main pockets. Oh, almost done. I have five cents and another gum wrapper. So that's empty. So now I just have this little zipper pocket here. In this I have a bus ticket which I never ended up using because when I caught the bus the little ticket thing was broken so I didn't have to swipe it. I have my camera. This is the Sony Cybershot the TX10 is what it is. I use this to vlog during vlogmas and I also like it because it's waterproof so um, if I'm ever at a friend's house and we go in the pool or whatever we can take photos so I really like that and I love that it's hot pink. Oh, just because the amount of product, lip products that I've shown isn't enough I've got a couple more. I have the Foxy lipstick from Makeup Geek which I've been testing out. I have my third Color Boost Bourjois glossy finish lip stick in this one is peach on the beach i really really like this color i have a small size of the pink sugar perfume which doesn't usually live in my bag but i must have worn it one time this week so i chucked it in my handbag and it just never made its way back out i have a makeup forever aqua eyes liner in um, 1l it's the black one i have a usb because I always have a USB stick carrying around. I never know when I have to transfer files back and forth from somewhere. I have a couple of my YSL lipsticks. I have Rouge Volupt number 12 and Rouge Volupt number 1. So Rouge Volupt number 1 is a pretty nude colour and number 12 is this gorgeous burgundy colour which seems to have melted slightly. Oh no! This is why I always clean out my lipsticks because you really shouldn't let them live in your bag. Um, I've just been really lazy lately. Do as I say, not as I do. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, a <laughs> couple last things. I have yet another USB stick. I have a bobby pin that's just floating around along with a little clear hair tie. I have a Jack Black Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm. This one's in Black Tea and Blackberry. I love, love, love these lip balms. So one usually lives in my bag. I have some Coral Day and Night tablets because I was sick a little while back and that's obviously just never made it out of my bag. And then the last thing I think is a little sample size bottle of Benefits Benetint. Um, this usually lives in my bag if I ever need to just give some colour to my cheeks or some colour to my lips. This is just handy to have. And guys, I think that is everything in my Mary Poppins bag of stuff totally empty. Surprisingly I carried that all around in on my shoulder this week which is really really bad so I'm not going to put it all back in. If you guys have recently done a what's in my purse or what's in my handbag tag video please leave me a video response because I would love to see it. I do watch a lot of these that's why when it was requested of me I decided that's it I'm going to do another one because it's just interesting to see what people pull out of their handbags. Also let me know what's the randomest thing you've ever pulled out of your handbag and you just thought what like for me the peanut butter is pretty random and I bought it in such a rush yesterday that I'd actually forgotten when I got home last night that it was even in there. So I'm glad that we did this video because I'm happy that I found that and I can now go have peanut butter toast. But other than that, I'm going to go. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you guys all next time. Bye! Seriously, this is ridiculous. There was over 10 lip products in there. 10. That's enough so I can change my lipstick every hour on the hour, basically and still having a shape.